Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about how to install ImageSeq. ImageSeq is a program that collects a selection of images on your computer and gives you a way to manage and search them. The cool feature of this is the draw function, where you draw an image and it searches through all the images on your computer for ones that look similar. I'll describe how to use this in a different video. This tutorial is only for Windows. So to start, quick and easy, just search for ImageSeq, if you spell it correctly and then you'll click on the first link that comes up. On the left you want to click download then official releases and then when my internet decides to work you want to click on this link here. Now when this download finishes just run it It'll ask for system privileges, just click accept. And you get a little box that looks like this. Down the bottom right, you want to click I agree. Then next, here you can choose where you want to install the program. Click install. Then when this is finished, click close. Now to actually run the program, you want to click on start. Click on all programs. Click on Image Seek, the folder, and then the program called Image Seek. Then you'll get a box that looks very similar to this. Now, this, well, just a quick run through this. Um, here's the path of where you're going to search for folders and files. Uh, to change that, just click the dots, and then you can change whatever location you want. When you've got your location, just click OK. Um, this link here recursively will search subfolders within that folder. When you untick that, it'll only search the folder itself. Uh, what you can do is you can add search parameters in here, so it'll ignore folders with a certain name. You, you can also specify the file. Now, most of my images are pretty small because they're only thumbnails for the moment. So I'm just set that to 5. Uh, it files with dimensions smaller than 100. Um, once again, it's 100 pixels, so it has to be pretty small for that, but you still have them. Um, once you've already once you've set all this up, then you want to just click add, and then it'll add images. Now you'll see down the bottom it's added five images. Now to view these images, you just want to click on browse, and it will automatically create a group. There's today's date, and then you can see these images and click on each of these. For more advanced searching, please check out my next video.